I just want to quickly tell you a short story about something that happened a few days ago to me and my family. Um, we have, we're day 14 of being in um, isolation and we'd had to go into isolation a bit early because my son uh, was sent home from school because he had a cough. So I came to the point a few days ago where I realised actually I'm planning to have sausages for dinner, but I have no pasta, I have no potatoes and I have no rice because I hadn't um, gone to the shops to sort of stock up in preparation for um, being in isolation. So all I had to feed them was these um, sausages. Um, anyway, so later that day, uh, I went out for a walk with my family and on our way turning back, uh, we looked on the ground and on the curbside were these seven scattered, muddy but perfect, um, big potatoes um, on the road. And it was it was really a shock to see that it was just there, um, just obviously abandoned. Um, no one was coming for them or anything. So what we did is me and my son, we went and collected them and picked them up. And I remember you know, getting hold of my husband, who's a bit ahead of us, and I was like, potatoes, we have potatoes. Um, and both of us just celebrating the fact that, what is this about? This is so strange to go for a walk and uh, come home with seven potatoes. And um, so we took them home, we scrubbed them and cleaned them, and they were amazing, really good quality potatoes. And we made them into chips. Um, and they, they were the best chips that we um had ever had honestly um, and we called them road chips and this is for me it was just such a such a lovely story of really the kindness and goodness and provision um of god for his children um because in all honesty i can say that i didn't i didn't you know on this realization that we had none of these starchy foods i didn't say to god god can you please provide for me? Um, he just knew and he did it anyway. Um, even though I didn't ask him, he just, out of his kindness and his character and nature, he just provided for us in that way. And I love that. Um, and the other thing that I also realised was um, when I was reflecting about how the potatoes actually got there, we live close to a farm road, um, uh, it's a long track and certain times of the year we see these big farm lorries um, trucks piled high with whatever they've just um, taken from the fields the harvest um, and they're, they're just trundling along and because they're really big lorries carrying heavy loads um, the road has become really potholed and that's what had happened, I think, with these potatoes, is that a lorry carrying loads of potatoes piled high um, had hit a pothole and the pothole had sort of knocked some of the produce off the top of it. Um, and in my heart, I just felt like God saying, you know, see from any any pothole life or any pothole situation, um, I can bring goodness and provision. And so it's, it's been such a great reminder for me that no matter what life looks like, um, that God can provide. And actually, you know, just as the Israelites needed to provide, um, depend on God every day uh, for what um, they needed, you know, so too we can do that every day. We can rely on him to provide what we need. And he knows without us even asking, he knows what we need and he is able to provide. Because those, those trucks piled high of potatoes, they're such a great image of the abundance and lavish grace and goodness of God. I hope that's encouraged you. Bless you.